Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for my completed pages. As you can tell, my voice is still not the best. So we're going to go through this and we'll have a look. So I've separated it into uh, normal patterns, normal uh, pictures, and then just put colour by number and they're not in any order, the colour by number, they're just in a pile. Just my tea. Um, there won't be a haul this month, there will probably be a haul next month. And then it's going to be um, at the end of December and then every three months after that because I am trying to save for a new car. So I did one in Jade Summers, 100 easy patterns, oh sorry, 50 easy patterns, I'm really not well. And this was just done with some um, markers I was trying to use up because they're nearly dead. So I just did this one. I did a little green and purple. Um, so drop them back in the box where I'm putting them for now. This one we did on camera, which was uh, from Joshua Dunbar's 80s New Wave coloring book. And uh, we did this one. I love this. I love anything 80s. So I'm a really big fan of this book. Absolutely love it. Uh, again, that uh, can also be counted as Colour Your Horde as well, 2022. I did one from Country Autumn. This is a Jade Summer book. Um... Josh Dunbar and Alexandra Francaise. I did a Josh Dunbar one. I did this one. Hello, fool! And again, this was just done with various markers. Oh, hoo hoos. Um, and our teaser, probably. Um, whatever I've got to hand, I just mix them all up now. I don't use a particular brand, I just use them all. I enjoyed doing that one. Again, from Colour Your Hoard 2022. Another Colour Your Hoard 2022 is Lazy Animals. Again, this is a Jade Summer one. This is uh, one from 2020, so it's a bit older. And I did this lazy but lovely um, elephant at the circus, and that was a good fun one to do as well. I really enjoyed that one. Got a bit of glitter on the stars um, and on the guy's jacket. Um, so there's a bit of glitter on there, but not a huge amount. I did one in Jade Summer's Adorable Owls. Again, this is another one, Colour Your Hoard 2022. I'm trying to colour in books I've never coloured before. And I did this first owl. And this was from Colouropoly. And the prompt for this one was monochromatic. So it's all purples. So I really enjoyed doing that. And there is some glitter on there because I thought that would just break up all the purple. It's still purple glitter, but it is on there. It didn't take me very long, but I enjoyed that. And it's nice to do something that's not how you expect it to be. So it's not been done as an owl would be, it's just done in a strange colour. I like that. Another colour your hoard 2022, there's a lot of those, is uh, this colour in heaven chibi. Now I've had this, this is Josh Lee. I have had this picture, when I find it, as a whip for over a year. And again, this is another prompt that I've used for Colouropoly and it's just simply because the prompt was free choice. And this is all done with watercolour paint, um, even, in, even the skin. Uh, it's all been done apart from the background, which was um, a metallic acrylic. Uh, but yeah, it's all been done with watercolour paint, hence why it took me so long. And we had a bit of an accident with some paint when we were doing it. The cat jumped up and stepped in Jennifer's teal paint. But although it took me a long time, because it always does when I use watercolours on a picture like this, I have really enjoyed doing it and I'm looking forward to colouring in that book again. Another one, most of these are colour your hordes, is Fashion Circus by Carla Magania. This one was a buddy colour with Chelsea over at Chelsea's Creative Escapes. We do a buddy colour every month, usually in a Carla book because we love them. And we did this one and I love it. Apart from her skin, it's all glitter gel pen. I think, yeah, even her lips are glitter gel. And I just really enjoyed it. I just love doing these pictures. It was quite overwhelming at first because all the bits in it, I thought I could cover them up. But I thought, no, look, let's just do it. So there's that one. Uh, next one, Colour Your Hoard 2022. Relax with Art, issue 96. We did this one on camera. And this one was this little person in their airplane. It's like a, a fairground ride, I would say, looking at it. And we did this with various markers and glitter gel pens on these little swirls at the bottom. Very cute. I didn't do his eyes, but I think they look fine the way they are. So I'm quite happy with that one. 
My last colour Colouropoly prompt was a party. So I did one in Karen Heaven's Alice Special. I've coloured in this one before. I'm not a big Alice fan, to be honest, but I still coloured in this one before. So I did the Max Cutters Tea Party. She says knocking everything off the side. Um, I did blank out the background because I couldn't be bothered to colour all these wheels in. I did the ones there and I did the ones on there and that was it. And this was just done with all my markers, a mixture of all my markers. There was the Gurkst ones, oh who who. It's whatever I had to hand because I'm, I'm sort of like, I got markers upstairs, I got markers downstairs, but I take the book up and down, but I got the markers. So I just use whatever's to hand. So that was my third prompt for Caropoli. Now that's all the, the normal ones, but back onto stained glass patterns now. So it's um, on to colour by number. So we've got Egyptian stained glass designs. This is my favourite. I'm going to finish this next year, definitely. And I did this one. And again, it's just the markers. Just markers. And it was a marker month. I have got a whip with um, pencils, which I'll be finishing in October because it's a witch, so. Kawaii colour by number. I love this book. I know I'm going to probably finish this one next year as well. Let me just find the page I did. I did this one. As you can see, my blue ran out, so I had to use a different blue. I'm, I'm not worrying about where the colours change. It looks fine. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to get some more markers at some point because although I've got loads, certain colours run out very, very quickly. But um, yeah, I like this. I like this book. Oh, I'm just have a sip of tea and get the next one up. I did two in the next one. And that was 50 Celestial Amanda Mandala, colour by number by Satch and Satch Deva. And let's just find where we are with it. So I did this one. Again, it's all alcohol markers. And a mixture of them. I like that one, looks really pretty. And that one. Like that one as well. I did one in Halloween colour by number for adults by Prachi Dewan, such Deva. And I did this one. I do enjoy doing these little colour by number ones. They are so cute. I will be doing more in this one this month. And I did one in such and such day for St. Patrick's Day, just because I love St. Patrick's Day ones. And I just did this one, and it's just easy and cute, and hardly hardly any work to do some of these. And they're just nice to do when you're not feeling, and like I said, I've not been feeling very well, that's why I, there's not as many this month, and most of them are coloured by numbers. <coughs> and I've got a chest infection, as you can tell. So there's that one. I did one in Halloween colour by number. This is again Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I like this book and I did this one. Again, various markers, whatever's to hand. I just find a colour that's approximately what they say, like red or pink or peach. And, and go for it. And I like these. I really like these. I'm going to be colouring this, in these later today, I think. Just because I like them. I've got, I've got a couple on the go that I need to do. I did one in the Christmas colour by number by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I actually like this one. It's really nice. Now this is the one that has the writing after it and I haven't done this one yet. I will do that one before I start the next page or whenever I feel up to it. But yeah, there's that one. Again, this is just all alcohol markers and I use Oh Hoo Hoo, I'll use the Everblend, Gurkst, what else have I got? Bold Mirror, Deco Time, and Spectrum Noir. Sometimes I use those. Uh, Colour by Number Beautiful Patterns by Jade Summer. This one's very orange and blue, but I quite like it. It's very nice. As like I said, I've not been feeling well, so most of them are Colour by Numbers this month. So, oh, sorry about that. 100 Easy Mandalas. Such and such diva. I just did this one. And this is one I could just, I could probably sit and just colour this entire book in a couple of days, really, because they're so simple, but I will be doing more at some point. But not in October, because October is Halloween only. So it's all Halloween and Halloween and fall related things. So this book will be out. Which Fantasy Black Background by Colour Questopia. 
I am really ploughing through these. I love this book. So again, various alcohol markers. Can't tell you which ones. But um, yeah, all of them basically. I really like this book. I've done quite a few in here. I mean, there's still loads in here, but yeah, I'm, I'm, this is a more complicated, more detailed one. So as you see, these are quite detailed pictures. So that's probably why I only did one. I did one in 50 Diamond Mandalas by Sachin Sachdeva. And I did this one. I have made a few mistakes in these because I've not been feeling well, but I'm not worrying about that. It's just a bit of fun to enjoy doing the mandalas. Oh, I'm really flaking now, but we're near the end, so. Chris Mandalas, Christmas. See, I can't even speak mandalas. Colour by number, such and such, David. This is a small one, but I really like it. It's really cute. And I just did this one. I'm not sure on the colours on that one, but it's all right. I do like this book though. Oh, was it that one I did? No, it's that one I did. I don't know. Maybe I did the two. I don't know. But I definitely did that one this month because I do all these in order. So I don't know what's me. I might have just put it in the wrong one. So it was that one. As you can tell, I'm not well. 50 Halloween Mandalas, colour by number by Sachin Sachdeva. This one hasn't got a thing in it because I only finished it uh, yesterday. And I did, no, it wasn't that one. Must have been. Did that one. So I did that last month. No, it was that, that's right, it was this one. And I like this one. Yeah, see, I'm just not with it. Ah, Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. What's this one? I like that one, blue and pinky purples. Pretty. Didn't take long. They don't take long. These ones really do not take long. I'll put all these books away now. Ugh, it's the worst part of doing it. Colour by Lumber Flowers by Sachin uh, by Jade Summer. See, I tell you, I'm not well, and I did this one. What I've been trying to do is do at least one picture in each of my Colour by Lumber books every month. Although next month I'm only doing the Halloween ones. But these are really pretty. They're not, they just don't take too long to do. Not at all. They're very simple, very easy. Uh, that's why I like them. Colour by number patterns. Again, Jade Summer, get it right. And I did this one. This one took a while. But it was good. I enjoyed it. The pattern ones do take a bit longer because they fill the page better. But yeah, got two more to go and then we're done. Hooray! Not hooray, I'm just tired. There we go, Colour by Number Christmas by Jade Summer. I haven't done many in this one. Well, I've done a few. And I did this one, quite like it. Very, very nice. Nice and easy. And finally, 50 Christmas Mandalas by Sachin and Such Lever. And it did this one. And various markers. Unfortunately I put the blotting paper behind the wrong page so now I'm going to have to deal with that when I come to do this one, the next one in November. So that's what I coloured in the month of September. We're in October which is Halloween month. I intend to only colour horror and Halloween pictures. I've already started. I've already finished one. I, I do like my colouring. Uh, especially when I'm ill, it's, it, I, I help it find me relaxing. So it'll only be um, horror ones. And then November will be any whips I've got outstanding and anything I want to colour. December will be all Decembers. I haven't shown you all my Halloween books. I just haven't been well enough to film it, unfortunately. However, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think my favourite one was the 80s one by Josh Dunbar. For the month. Either that or the Carla Magana one. It's between those two. And I hope to see you in the next video. Or let me know what your favourite was below. Hopefully, I'm on antibiotics and steroids. Hopefully, next week I'll be back to work because I hate missing work. I feel guilty. It's just the way I was brought up. And uh, hopefully my voice will be back and we'll be able to do a colour and chat. And I've got some supplies. I want to do some first impressions. i got three supplies that I haven't used yet because I want to do a first impressions. 
so hopefully we'll be able to do that next week. Anyway, I will see you soon. Take care, everybody. I love you. Bye.